What's up everybody? Circus here coming at you with a how to nerf a deck without killing it video. Now, Kamel, I don't know if you know this, but there's this deck called Onomats, and they've been yeah. killing it lately. Have you heard about this? Yeah, Onomatopoeia, after a very long time of being in Duel Links, is the best deck in Duel Links right now by a far margin in tournaments, and I would also say by a ladder play, you know, the automatic win rate is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they are definitely on top in all categories of play in Duel Links right now. And a lot of people have been like, automats need nerf, nerf automats are too good. Yep. All right, so, so we want to take a look problem? at that, right? Like, if you were to nerf the deck, how would you do it? But let's get into real quick, in case you don't know what's going on with Onomats, let's say you've been on vacation or something, uh, what's changed in the past couple of weeks? We had a, a new box come out, right? And then all of a sudden, Onomats are just like destroying everybody. And why is that? Yeah, so with the new box, we got access to uh, Insector Exa Beetle, which is mm -hmm. a rare rank 6 Xyz monster in the Giving Puppet main box which is Insector support. However, Insector is not popping off, but it is a rank 6 vanilla, exe uh, I should say generic rank 6 Xyz monster, mm -hmm. which automats make extremely easily. And it being an insect allows you to rank up Xyz change into Digital Bug Rhinosobus. Rhinosobus. And, <laughs> oh my God, whatever, dude. <laughs> this allows you, this card, rank 7, allows you to quick effect destroy the monster on your opponent's field with the highest defense points and of course if you only have one monster that will be the one being destroyed now this effect is very very strong against decks that lead all of their plays and all of their combos with resolving one monster summon first right yeah if you think about harpies they require you to resolve a Harpy Channeler or Harpy Perfumer or any Harpy Summon so they can use their follow-up cards to get more in the field. The same with Onomats themselves, right? Any other deck resonators included, albeit it may be harder to lock them down. Other decks as well that require you to have one monster in the field before special summoning or activating the effects of other cards. This card is extremely powerful against and against other decks that may have better multi-layer plays, you can just wait till their boss monster comes out that does not have a quick effect and get rid of that before it activates its uh, its uh, activatable effect. So and, very well, nice. Two cool things about it is it's the, with the highest defense or all if tied. So if they have multiple yes. monsters, it will wipe them all out. And then it's non-targeting. So if they do try to like switch out like with like a swallow's nest, they're still gonna get hit. Yep, that is the biggest uh, that is the biggest advantage of this destruction effect o over other over some other ones in the game, and the fact that automats now have an, a very easy access to non-targeting destruction, albeit only once per the duel, is something that you know they didn't have access to before, and it's a way better turn one play than Photon Strike Bouncer. Okay, uh, real quick, Thunder Dragons can also make this. But how come mm -hmm. they're not popping off as hard as Onomats? Well, Thunder Dragons can make this. Mm -hmm. However, right, Onomats, the main turn one play is make a rank six Xyz monster because you, you have your sister, you have a level four Onomat monster, you make rank six easy. Thunder Dragons, that's not always the case. Your your turn your your turn of play may uh, you may want to sit on hand traps. You may want to synchro summon. You may mm -hmm. want to sit on different level Thunder Dragons so that you have floaters for the next turn, right? For you to get out in Zector X to Beetle in Thunder Dragons, you have to get to the position where you have two Thunder Dragon Roars on the field, or a Thunder Dragon Roar or a Thunder Dragon Hawk on the field at the same time. And to get them on the field, they have to be special summoned by two different Thunder Dragon effects, which, you know, while for Thunder Dragons may not be that hard to set up. It's not as easy as instant automatic turn one setup with the skill on a play. So it okay. is just not as instantaneous and not as consistent as it is on automats. While it does still work. All right. So automats seem a little broken right now. I personally think this is like an unintended consequence from Konami. <laughs> like they didn't think about this when they released this one card. They were probably just thinking, oh, insector support. What could possibly go wrong? 
So now that it's out there and uh, Automaster is destroying everybody, there's a couple different approaches they could take, right? And we're going to look at all three of them. One would be they could nerf a card, they could nerf the skill, or do nothing. So let's take a look at yeah. the first one. So if there was a card they wanted to hit, what what would you think that would be? Yeah, so the Automat core deck list, if we're talking Automat cards, consists of Automana, Utopic Automana Pia from the Shining Hope box, which is a UR, so I don't think that's going to get nerfed. Then there are two box, two mini box SRs, mm -hmm. which I do not think would be nerfed. But then there are two structure deck cards from the Gagaga -ga -ga Evolution Xyz structure deck. Gagaga -ga Xyz structure deck. And that is Zubaba Bancho, Gagaga -ga -ga Coat, and the Gagaga -ga -ga Mancer. Now these the Zubaba Bancho is your main Xyz combo extender. It works in tandem with Utopic Onomatopoeia, and it is often the card you summon the most alongside your Gargaga sister to make your rank six Xyz summon. So limiting your access to Zubaba Bancho will definitely hinder your ability to Xyz summon regularly, have follow-up monsters to just special summon after you have one level four on the field. So these two are definitely huge candidates. Gaga Ga Ga Mancer, while it isn't as, you know, the, the deck doesn't depend on it as much, it is just another Gaga Ga 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 card that gives your Xyz monsters added, uh, added threat. Okay. Uh, if we look at some of the other cards, not many of them are, uh, not many of the other ones are hittable. You know, we have Gaga Ga 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 Bolt, which is also a SR. It's a spell. I was going to say, do, 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 draw will be hit as well. So if you do yeah. hit one of these monsters that you were talking about, what would mm -hmm. you put them to? Would you put them to one, two, or three? And what are you trying to limit by doing that? Yeah, so you definitely want to limit the amount of instant Xyz potential they have in an opening hand, right? So in their opening hand, you don't want you want to lower the amount of chances of them to be able to go sister coat. Or, you know, Sister and any other special summonable level 4 monster to instantly get your Xyz rolling. And, you know, I want to say you could put this to 3. You could put Coat to 3. But, of course, if you put Coat to 3, you have to put some other cards mm. that are commonly seen in the deck to 3 as well. And I would think the next option for that would be either Dodo -do Draw or um, maybe the Gaga -ga -ga Bolt. So one Ga -ga -ga of the spell Bolt cards. Dodo -do draw. Yeah, because Dodo -do Draw is really what gives you the leeway to freely activate on a play when you have uh, you know a really bad hand, I feel like. Mm -hmm. If you have Dodo -do Draw, you can search for a Dodo -do monster, or not even a Dodo -do monster, a Utopic Automatopoeia, because that counts as all of the Automatopoeia sub archetypes. And you can discard that, get your two cards, and then you can use your Topic Automatopoeia later in the duel for, uh, you know, Exodus fodder. So you're thinking maybe they'd hit it, have to have a two pronged approach, right? So you you limit a monster to three, and then one of the spells to three. Because if you did two monsters, it'd be too much. Like if you put two monsters to three. Yeah, I think you'd have to also try to hit multiple different strengths of the deck at one time. Mm, you know, okay. I don't want to play plus Dodo -do draw is a lot of draw power. So taking something from Automat's draw power would definitely help. Then you also need to take Slow something away the from their from their summoning. Okay. So okay. I definitely think if you were to only look at cards to nerf, Zubaba Bancho, Gaga -ga Coat, and Dodo -do draw would be very key hits uh, to give Automats to weaken their power. Now, obviously, this is just us discussing this out loud. This isn't our prediction. We're just saying this this would make sense. So please keep that in mind. But when it, when it actually happens, we're going to say <laughs> profits of the game, right? Yeah, um, we predicted it. <laughs> okay. So what about, uh, let's say they don't do that, or maybe they do that, and they nerf the skill. How would you change the skill? Yeah, so Anamano Play has already been uh, nerfed, if you can call it that. Well, real quick, uh, already. why don't you tell us what the skill is in case someone doesn't play the deck and they don't get how it works. Well, Automata Play lets you return an Automatopoeia card mm -hmm. in your hand and lets you return it to the deck to add any Automatopoeia monster 
from your deck to your hand. Okay. And it lets you do this twice per duel, once per turn. Okay. And previously, the effect was it allowed you to do this, um, I believe... With two cards, right? You right, yeah. Two back I believe two it was once per duel, but you could still but you could do it with two cards. Yes, oh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's and then they it broke it up. up yeah. cards. Then they broke it up. So a further nerf would be to absolutely gut this skill and make it once per duel. Mm-hmm. Absolutely once per duel. Of course, it would still be better than other consistency skills because it does not have a life point requirement. And uh, I do think that Automatopoeia Anamata, having this powerful skill is kind of what propelled a lot of other decks to have this mechanic. I don't want to play kind of led by example, it being really mm-hmm. impactful on the deck, making it playable all the way through the, you know, almost the end of Xyz era coming through Automat is, you know, the best deck because well, of this skill. Well, yeah, and that's kind of what Demon's Resonance is, right? It's a very similar mm-hmm. skill where you can send one back and get what you need kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you know, that skill is also twice per duel, so easy way to knock those skills down. Once per duel, dude. Mm-hmm. Once per duel. However, automats, I will say, a careful automat player only needs to use automata play once per duel. And if, as long as they do, do not absolutely brick, they can uh, usually have a pretty good hand with just swapping out one or two cards. Okay. So then the third option would be do would be to do nothing at all, which I'm kind of in favor yeah. of because I would like to see power creep, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would like to see power creep, especially because uh, the decks that are in the game now are not really um, powerful, mm-hmm. so to speak, as a pair, as opposed to other decks that we have gotten, right? If you watch a tournament right now, I do not think you're really going to see a shutout unless it's automats just absolutely slapping around some decks that just can't do what they do (laughs) you know other than that you're gonna have a pretty even matchup or a good match between most of the decks although they do have their good and bad matchup there are no oppressive decks no overwhelmingly powerful decks at the moment Mm -hmm. i think consistency is the name of the game right now and uh you know the next broken deck is going to have consistency and power and that's what it's going to need to beat over automats because automats have consistency but they do not have that much power. It is they're kind of limited on what they can do and when they can do it. Some of the most powerful automat plays like the Rhinosobus, good on turn one. The Excalibur, good on turn two when your opponent has no board. You know, a lot of these, right. these monsters that they're getting access to, these tool kit boss monsters are good in certain situations. Against a deck that is really good in most situations, it is oppressive and it has something like negates which automats doesn't have except for full time strike bouncer you know automats will be in trouble now we used to or we we do the power rankings every week um <laughs> and if you remember automats before this card came out they'd be like in third fourth fifth place all the time they weren't that yeah weren't that strong now they got the one card they're in first place uh for the past couple of weeks i feel like we're kind of like in the same situations situation that we were in when harpies first came out or when they first started get some traction they were just like winning a lot people like it needs to be nerfed but then just like a few weeks later some new decks come out and harpies didn't even make the power rankings this past week right so isn't that really just what needs to happen here is just maybe a few more cards in the game other decks get better a new one is introduced and let's go I would definitely hope so because I think that's the way they need to to handle automats, right? They don't mm-hmm. need to really affect it as a deck because it doesn't warrant all of that hardcore, you know, aggressive balancing that they would do for a deck like Lords or Blue Eyes or something like that. I was going to say, there might be a lot of people that have only been in the game for a month or two. The meta right before this one was much stronger. Not that it was super powerful, yeah. but Dark Lords and Blue Eyes are very strong decks, way stronger than what we have now. And they, Armas could not compete with those decks. No way. Neither like, could Harpies. Crept you know? on. Yeah. So once those decks left, the meta completely shifted. And that's why we're seeing these decks come up the way they are. So I think that I think the right solution would be to just introduce more stuff to the game and just be patient yep. people i know it sucks this past week and a half has seemed like a year because of auto mass but this too shall change right <laughs> this too shall pass that's right <laughs> yep so all right guys let us know what you uh think in the comments below do you think it needs to be nerfed or do we just need a power creep it 
Uh, we'd like to hear what you think. So we're going to get out of here, but you should get in the Discord because it's free, the terms are free, and the new player help is free. I'm Circus. That's Kamel. Peace out, guys. And we'll see you next time.